complete guide for body painting. How to prep your skin before body painting. Importance of skin prep. Before the paint is applied to skin, it's recommended that you take a shower and wash thoroughly. Throughout the course of the day, your body naturally excretes oils, sebum oil. A thorough wash will remove these oils and allow the paint to latch on in a much easier manner. This step will be critical especially if you have oily skin on your face, in particular the T-zone, as it will be tougher to keep the paint appearance consistent. Oil and water don't mix well, and neither will be the case with the oil on your skin and the water-based composition of your body paint. In short, take a shower before body painting, it's important if you want the end results to look good. Shower and Barrier Slash Setting Spray Setting sprays are simply a mixture of water, alcohol, and a few other ingredients that allows for a better base for the body paint to latch onto. A setting spray works great in a pinch to help lightly clean your skin of excess oils. Furthermore, the solution also acts as a barrier that rests between your skin and the paint, helping to reduce any chance of an allergic reaction from any of the ingredients found in the body paint. How to apply body paint Plan your painting Before the first drop of paint goes onto your body, it's imperative that you take a few minutes to plan out your painting. Not only will this make for better results, but you can also see where large color blocks will go, which is key in lessening the amount of time spent cleaning your brushes or sponges between colors. If you are working with water-based body paints, which you likely are, a simple outline of the color blocks is great for planning. Should you make a mistake, you can simply just wipe clean with a warm and soapy paper towel and try again. Body Painting Brushes Should your body painting have lots of little details, dots, or line work throughout, a quality paint brush will be key. Body painting artists like to rely on two separate sets slash types of brushes. Kabuki, or similar, large brushes for large swaths of painting. Artist grade paint brushes, i.e. round, filbert, flat, rake, etc., for detailed work. When working with a water-based paint, you should go with either a synthetic or Kalinsky sable brush as they have a great level of springiness to them and don't completely lose their backbone when dipped into water. Other animal bristled brushes such as boar, camel, etc. tend to get dead or flat when submerged in water. On the long run, they won't be able to hold as much paint or keep a fine edge for the strokes. High Density Sponges In lieu of using a kabuki or other large brush, sponges are a terrific way to get a uniform and non-streak results in a body painting. However, when selecting a sponge, you will want to go with the proper type. Instead of a typical sponge you might have in the kitchen that has large holes in it, although this could be used if you are in a pinch, professional face and body painting artists love to use a high density sponge. High density sponges have more of a microfiber texture to them and will ensure an even pigment load. When selecting the sponge size, you are better off going with one that is only a few inches at most in size. A smaller size, even when body painting, is much easier for you to control while also being easy to dip into the pans of body paint within your palette. Airbrushing The last, and slightly less popular way, to apply body paint would be via an airbrush. Airbrushes are terrific for those who are making a living from body painting or find themselves painting regularly. With the reliance on just a few simple tools, airbrush and compressor. You can get a smooth layer of paint down in very little time. One of the biggest differences when using this compared to just a traditional palette of body paint will be the type of paint required, a thin liquid body paint rather than a cake or pan.
Setting spray after the body paint has been applied. While we covered the importance of a setting spray in the prep stages, it's actually a dual-use product. Once you are finished with your body paint, applying a light mist of a setting spray or powder will help to preserve the colors on your skin a bit better. Therefore, should you be doing any performance, i.e. stage, dancing, etc., you won't have to worry about your body paint becoming runny while sweating. For those of you who plan on body painting for cosplay or simply a convention, an extra layer of setting spray will be perfect if you are moving around all day and taking pictures. The last thing you would want is to take a picture and have your cheek pressed against someone else and having the paint transfer off your skin, ruining both yours and the other's costume. How to choose your body paint Water-based paint Modern water-based face and body paints are made according to stringent guidelines, meaning these are non-toxic, usually non-allergenic, and can easily be washed away. These are either applied with a paintbrush, synthetic sponges, natural sea sponge, or with an airbrush. We use water-based paints 80% of the time, that comes off easily in the shower with an oil-based product, baby oil, coconut oil, makeup removers, etc., and some soap. Models may experience slight staining with some colors, that is normal and will fade after normal washing. We recommend using dark towels for the models and a magic eraser to clean your tub after you shower. Water-based body paint will need quite more frequent touch UPS and more attention than other types of body paint. Water-based body paint tends to rub off, crack and be susceptible to sweat. Some of the lighter colors like white or yellow do not provide full coverage and when applied thickly can cause cracking due to titanium. Please make sure to test various products in advance, work on your application techniques and gauge your expectations accordingly. Metallic Body Paint Metallic pigments by brands like Marin are often applied with a water and alcohol mixing liquid solution. While this contains a high pigmentation and metallic sheen, we had some of the models experience severe allergic reactions. We recommend using Chameleon's gorgeous metallic pigments and applying biodegradable glitter from Body FX if extra shine is needed. Hybrid Airbrush Paints some brands provide a hybrid airbrush body paint that contains the lasting power of alcohol and the easier to remove qualities of the water-based products. In my experience, these have quickly clogged airbrush guns, holding a job up and creating an air of frustration. No one wants a group of grumpy body painters on set. Additionally, these products have created cracking textures, models still have trouble removing these body paints and they can be quite toxic on the lungs. If you use them, please wear a mask, bring spare airbrush guns and clean guns for your session. Latex Body Paint Liquid latex may also be used as body paint. It is a full coverage option that separates from the skin and is more like custom, single use, painted on clothing than like more traditional forms of body painting. It's a fantastic option for cosplay conventions and Halloween parties because it looks like clothing and does not leave any marks or residue if you are driving or sitting on a couch but still elicits the wow factor sex appeal of body paint. Custom cosplay costumes are not only expensive but are also very time consuming and latex body paint offers a nice alternative. Wearing latex for a prolonged period may cause heat stroke by inhibiting perspiration and care should be taken to avoid the painful removal of hair when the latex is pulled off. If the skin shows any sign of allergy from a paint, its use should immediately be ceased. Moreover, it should not be applied to damaged, inflamed, or sensitive skin. It is imperative that every single body hair in the paint zone is removed in advance. Latex body paint works like a wax and as it lifts from the skin it removes the hair. Please wax or shave thoroughly before your session. If the body is prepared correctly, 
the paint is very easily removed by peeling it from the skin. Cream based character body paint and makeup. There are a few brands like Makeup Forever and Cryolan making cream based makeup for character and avant garde makeup looks. They are waterproof and sweatproof. These are usually set with a finishing spray or powder though they never full dry and need special removers. It is recommended each body painter and makeup artist at minimum add MUFE's flash palette or some similar product in their kits it has saved several of our paintings. If you need a stronger pigmented white, need to repair cracking areas, want a more wet slash reflective look, or want to create amazing face looks that complement your body painting, cream based makeup can be a nice addition to your kit. Remember to remove the makeup from the container and use it on a palette so you do not spread germs from one model to the next. Silicone Airbrush Makeup Temchu has created a nice silicone-based airbrush makeup that also comes in a variety of colors. It has strong durability for makeup looks. The bottles are a bit too small and expensive for full body looks but this can be a nice addition for faces that need to last all day. Makeup Forever recently released a new line of silicone airbrush body paints that hold up well. They do clog airbrush guns so make sure you get a few bottles of their thinner and cleaners for your guns. However, this is an excellent option and could create new creative possibilities for makeup artists and body painters. Henna and Black Henna Henna is a more traditional plant dye used on the skin, hair, and wool that creates a brown or red stain. It is a lasting temporary tattoo that is removed as dead skin sloughs off the body. The fading process can be sped up by exfoliating or by coming into contact with chlorine. Although henna is natural, since it is plant-based, a lot of ready-made henna mixes have metal additives. These metals can seep through the skin and cause damage. Black henna is toxic and should never be used. Use caution if you get a henna tattoo abroad or at a fair and ask questions about the type of product they are using. Hand Marbling Body Paint This type of body paint is popular music festivals. The customer dips their hands into a mixture and receives a marbling or tie-dye effect they can wear on their arm. While it does look cool, this type of body paint has not yet been approved for use on the body. Non-toxic acrylic, house liquid latex paint, tempura paint and sharpies. Any paints or products which have not been formulated for use on the body, like various types of water-based paints or sharpies, should never be used for body or face painting, as these can result in serious allergic reactions. These products all crack quickly on the skin as they were made for use on different materials and do not contain the flexibility or longevity of the products formulated for use on the skin. If you do need to use these products, we recommend first base coating the model in water-based product and using the other paints on top of these products to enhance the vibrancy or texture of your painting. Crude Oil Surprisingly, there are a few trending photographers on INSTagram using used crude oil on the skin as it is practiced in the Caribbean and some African countries. This is highly toxic and proven to cause stroke, heart attack, and more. This is not body paint. Instead, to achieve this look, use a black body paint and then mix water and jojoba oil in a spray bottle and spray it onto the model. A dark, wet oil appearance is achieved and no one died for your art project. How to remove body paint Water-based body paint removal To remove water-based body paint, you can just simply hop into the shower and scrub with warm and soapy water. We do recommend using a throwaway washcloth for this purpose, just in case the paint causes any staining, most likely not, but really depends on the company's source for pigments. Oil-based body paint removal For those of you who went with an oil-based body paint, 
the cleanup process will be a bit more involved. As we mentioned earlier in this article, oil and water naturally don't mix well together, so attempting to use warm soapy water in the shower will take quite a bit of effort. Instead, you will need to use a solvent that will break down the oil and allow it to run smoothly off your body. Some of the trusted solutions used by pros include waterproof makeup remover, a facial or body cleanser that targets oil, baby oil, or in extreme cases, dishwashing detergent that targets grease, just make sure you moisturize after you use this one. A slightly abrasive sponge will also help to provide enough grit in order to fully remove. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.